Ready to fly. Yeah! Hey, it's Mr. Marshall. Welcome to Mini the Foam Fighter. I got Bailey here. And uh, we're doing our, our tip series for. And uh, Charlie, what are we doing? Control horns? Cool. So Charlie's got to do control horns for our, our tip series today. And uh, Baylor's working on. Bailey, you want to talk about your playing with that? Um, this is the FT Bloody Wonder. And it can take off like this. This is a Bloody Wonder? Yeah. Cool. All right, so then what we're going to do is, is um, it looks like you've already been working on these two, right? Yeah. Okay, and you're going to finish that one today? Yeah. Awesome. So we're just going to show the basic setup, um, how we approach this. Now, we saw on the internet that you know that you have the Z-bins, and, and there's some stuff that you can use out there that'll help bend um, the control rods. But we don't have one of those yet. We did order one, so, yeah. that should, be, so it should be fun. Well, let's say you don't have them. What do you, how do you do this thing? So the first things first is, you put your servo in here, which that was part of the specs, right? You just stuck the servo in there? Yeah. Okay, cool. So then when you buy these 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 um, push rods, we get them at flight tests. Um, you just simply just put the Z bin here and you make it go back. And you always want to, you know, do your best to try to make it um, as level and, and on a straight line as you can with the servo uh, horn itself. Because you don't want it to have it look like this. So if I hold it like this, you don't want to have it like that. And that's why what he's trying to accomplish here is so that when it does turn, you know, it's not bowing out the wire or anything like that. We want a nice perpendicular movement for the control surface. We don't want to have it, you know, sideways or anything like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we got our control horns. Our control horns, we just use a laser cutter to print them out. Um, we use a 132 inch uh, um, uh, piece of uh, wood pretty much it. But the thing that, that Baylor wants to make sure, he did a great job with this. Notice how the holes are lining up with the actual bend itself. That's important. Um, just so that it gives us the max uh, throw and a comfortable throw um, for these control horns. Now, he could have had it way out here, but then it, it just starts to become, um, you know, you get the rod to hit the board or it just doesn't work well. And you get the less movement. So we have it here. And then we move our push rod here and make sure we're nice and straight, which looks like we are. And so we don't have the luxury of having a, a Z bin. So we're just gonna, right where that hole is, we're gonna put a bin. Just needle nose. Hold it again, and then bend it the other way. Okay, once we have that, if you notice that we never glued this thing down, the reason why is that we, we want to make sure that um, we have everything right, just in case. And you got to be able to do this. Stick it through the top. It's in there. It's got it there. And we're good. Now, the next thing that, that Baylor's going to want to do is, and he didn't glue any of these in yet, so he's doing a really good job, is that when he gets time to start to you know, figure out um, uh, with the controller and binding it to his plane, He's going to want to make sure that all his um, ailerons and his elevators are in the central position and then balance these things out. Make sure that they're, you know, if he needs to go back a little bit or forward a little bit, you know, with these to make sure they're all nice and even. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to lock yourself into a position where you're flying and you're trying to give it more elevator trim, but there's no more elevator trim left because you've never centered it out to begin with. So um, this is how our, typically our kids approach the control horns. Um, take your time, ask for help if needed, and uh, always make sure that you glue last. Yeah. Other than that, Baylor, thanks for helping us out today um, and showing off your plane. Look for this to come up in our future episodes, and uh, thanks for watching. <coughs>